What's up, y'all? This is your boy Jack back again with another video. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing my review on the Sony WF1000 XM3. Uh, I've had these for about a month now, and uh, I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts. I'm gonna go back through some of the the stats and then uh, finish it up with uh, my final thoughts on it. So these particular set of earbuds have uh, digital noise cancellation. Uh, the talk time is uh, four hours with noise cancellation on and 4.5 hours with noise cancellation off. The music playback is six hours with the noise canceling on and six and a half with the noise canceling off. Has nine hours of standby time with noise, can uh, with noise cancellation on and 15 hours with noise cancellation off. Has 24 hours of <clears throat> battery life with the case and I believe you can charge these up I want to say what three maybe four times before you have to actually charge the case uses a USB type C and it charges it about uh, an hour and a half there's no wireless charging and uh, it does have quick charge capabilities you charge them in 10 minutes and you'll get about 90 minutes of playback there's no waterproof rating um, it has a quick attention function, AKA modified ambient noise mode. And it's called, uh, I think Sony calls it the auto adaptive sound control. And so basically what that does is it automatically adjusts to the environment around you and controls the noise cancellation, the ambient sound. And so far what I've seen is that the phone calls are great. Um, they're not on the samsung galaxy buds plus or apple airpods level but they're i mean they're right there um as far as sound quality they have a 0.24 millimeter drivers and the sounds is great typical sony fashion good bass good highs i'm no audiophile but they sound great to me i listen to a lot of r&b hip-hop and i also listen to podcasts and youtube and they're perfect also i took them on a flight and they lasted the whole time all the way to the west coast so they're definitely definitely good for that um, they connect via NFC and they utilize Bluetooth 5.0 and you can control the volume tracks answer calls all from the earbuds themselves uh, there's an option in there where it can read the text to you and also there's a custom voice assistant control inside the app so there's an app that you can download once you set it then you can utilize it you just say hey <laughs> to your favorite service and then it'll pop up so that's pretty cool so you don't have to actually you know like with some buds you gotta like or some headphones you gotta uh, hold down a button or something like that with these you can just set it up speak to it and then kind of go from there has a magnetic charging case and <clears throat> and when you take one bud out has that auto pause feature and then when you pop them back in uh, it'll start playing again you can listen to either earbud at one at a time so you don't have to worry about it um, for these in particular <clears throat> I really enjoy it. Uh, like I said before uh, they're not quite you know where I want to be but definitely when I got mines I got mines for hundred and seventy one dollars and right now if you go on Google you can pick some up refurbished for 120 and for 120 dollars these are a definite winner mm -hmm. they're kind of on the big side um so if you're going to be doing a lot of uh, outdoor activities i probably wouldn't run in these because they don't have a, a waterproof rating and so if sweat gets in there i can't guarantee you know how it's gonna how it's gonna uh play out but uh they don't fall out of your head they, they look kind of bulky but once you get them in, I guess the way that they're designed, they kind of fit in there pretty good. So <clears throat> again, uh, you can oh, oh also uh, you can use these for both Android and iOS. I know some people have a, a uh, questions about those things, but uh, I like them. And you know, I would definitely recommend them. Uh, I probably wouldn't pay anything over two hundred dollars shipped for them, just because there's better offerings. At that price point so but if you can definitely find them for a flash sale and again refurbished is a great way to go if you can find these refurbished for 120 130 hell 140 bucks 
uh, from a reputable company, I would definitely uh, jump on them. Uh, you can just type these in into Google Shopping, and then it'll give you kind of like the up to date. Make sure you guys pay attention to the uh, shipping times and how much it's going to cost for shipping because you don't want to get beat over the head as far as that's concerned. But uh, that's my review on the Sony WF 1000 XM3s. If you guys have any other questions, just go ahead and leave them in the com comments. And uh, you guys take care of each other. Peace.